In this video, I will explain how you can become an indie hacker in the crypto niche. If you are new here, my name is Julian and on Ido Blocks, I help you to become a blockchain developer. So what is indie hacking? Building a traditional startup usually means raising millions in venture capital, building a team and growing fast. This used to be the golden path for developers. But recently, another path is emerging and is becoming even more popular. It's called indie hacking. Indie hacking is a new trend where solo developers build their own apps, make money from them and become their own boss. Unlike traditional startups, indie hackers do not like to have a big team, so they stay pretty lean often operating as a one-person company, we use the term solo pruner. Indie hackers also don't like to raise money from VC because they want to stay independent and keep things simple. Instead, they prefer to use their own money to bootstrap the project. But because indie hackers keep a very lean operation, usually indie hacking doesn't require a lot of investment anyway. You just need to be able to pay for your food and for your rent, that's it. One of the most famous indie hacker is called Peter Levels and he inspired many other developers to follow his path. He created Nomad List, a famous community for digital nomads. He also created a photo AI app and also a job board for remote jobs. How much can you make with indie hacking? Well, indie hacking is not a job, it's entrepreneurship, so revenue can vary a lot. Once you start to monetize your project, you can go anywhere from a few thousand dollars per month to a few hundred thousand dollars per month like beta levels. You will find indie hackers in many niche and crypto is one of them. But why now is such a good time for indie hacking? The simple answer is AI. With AI tools like ChatGPT or Cursor AI, developers are becoming very efficient. So now with AI, solo developers are able to build sophisticated applications that would have required a whole team before. So not only those tools can help you with the coding part, which is important, but they can also help you with the non-coding part, which is even more important. I'm talking of marketing. Yes, that thing that you hate to do, but that is so necessary. So for example, you can use ChatGPT to help you to do some copywriting. You can also ask it to suggest different ways to acquire customers. It's not just you and your code, but now you have this super smart assistant working for you almost for free. So this is how AI can help you to become an uh, indie hacker. But what about crypto? So in the crypto niche, there is so much potential for indie hacking. So let's dive in. The first idea is a token creation tool. So many people want to launch their cryptocurrency token, but for a non-coder, it's not easy. You need to learn how to code a smart contract and how to deploy it. So the current solution is to hire a blockchain developer, but it costs a lot of money. So what if you could have a tool to create and deploy your token automatically? you will have several steps where you can simply describe the tokens that you want to create and AI could suggest optimal token parameters and features based on analysis of successful project. Now, I don't recommend to use AI for code generation without human validation. That would be very dangerous, so be careful with that but you can use AI to help you prepare in advance some code template. So if your tool can handle NFTs, this is another area where you can use AI. On your backend with the OpenAI API, you can generate images. For monetization, you have different options, either freemium, where the basic features are free and some customization are paid or you can make everything paid from the beginning. You could charge a fixed fee for each token deployment or a small percentage of token supply or both. And with the continued growth of the token economy, the potential customer base is massive. Another idea is to build an app for crypto research. The idea is to deliver research and reports for traders who buy crypto. Crypto investors are very active users. They are always looking for the next 100x token. 
But at the same time, crypto markets are very volatile and complex, and there are a lot of scams. So you have rich, motivated users who face a painful problem that's a perfect combination. But what if you could leverage AI to automate much of the research? Imagine a tool that continuously scans the crypto landscape, aggregates data from multiple sources, and uses natural language processing and predictive models to identify emerging coins, tokens, and DeFi protocols worth investigating. For example, you could build a standardized report for each coin with different sections like description of the project, opinion on the team, how skilled do they look like, especially compared to other token projects, a technical analysis for the price action, analysis of the GitHub activity, a score that tells you the probability that it's a scam or legit based on whether the founders are anonymous or not, social media activity, etc. Security, have they been audited by a reputable company? Monetization could be either a subscription to get access to the reports or you can make it free, you generate traffic and you generate money with advertisement. Now, there are already some well-established crypto research websites out there. So the fact that you can use AI can set you apart, but it's probably not enough. So you will have to niche down a little bit. For example, you could focus only on Solana projects or you could be even more specific like project launch on specific platform like Pum.fun. The next idea is to create a robot advisor. So instead of just giving reports, you could generate personalized investment strategies. This means that your app will tell exactly what to buy, what to sell and when. So first you will gather some data about the user, like their capital, their investment goal, their asset preference and their risk tolerance. Every day on your backend, you will process different input from the market like volatility, news, price, etc. You will take these inputs, combine them with the preference of users, send it to an AI API and get back a recommendation. If you just stick to a recommendation feature, it's the safest thing to do. You don't hold customer funds and ultimately they are responsible for following your recommendations or not. But you can go one step further. You can turn this into an automated trading bot that trades on behalf of your customer. So technically, this would belong to the category called AI agent. An AI agent just means that you combine AI with some actual action. The AI doesn't just give you some information, but also take some action. So AI agents are a huge buzzword right now, so you can leverage this for marketing. Now, if you go in this direction, your project becomes more risky because now you are 100% responsible for trading decisions and you also have the custody of user funds. So now you have two ways to make your customer very angry if your bot take a bad decision or if you get hacked. So it's definitely more risky. And for the monetization model, well, in this case, you would charge either a subscription fee or you would charge a commission per trade. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many other possibilities and I see two profitable sub niche for indie hacking in crypto, either helping entrepreneurs who want to launch crypto projects like the token creation tool or helping crypto investors. A great way to get ideas is to be a crypto user yourself and notice the pain points. Another way to get ideas is to study people complaining online. So either on Discord or on Twitter or on Reddit, every time you see a pain point, that's a potential business idea. And finally, you can also ask ChatGPT for more ideas. Are you excited to become an indie hacker in the crypto niche? Let me know down below. That's it for today. Bye.